Do you live in South Africa and want to get the best deals on all the latest gaming products? Well, Rebeltech is the best place to check out. They have a huge variety of peripherals, PC components, laptops, and just everything else you would need. So go check out rebeltech.co.za to get the products you are looking for at a low price. How's it going everybody? Welcome to We Do Tech. Now in this last year or so, we have been seeing more and more companies releasing their own RGB memory. Also just recently we took a look at Aorus's new RGB memory where you got the two dummy modules which was really cool so you should definitely check out that video. But currently at the price range for most of the memory and especially the RGB memory is not always an option to go for and you have to settle for something like Kingston's value memory which does get the job done at the price range but it doesn't really look the greatest. And then also I know a bunch of you don't really have any new systems that is running a DDR4 memory and to my knowledge I don't think there's any DDR3 memory that's RGB maybe LEDs but it doesn't have RGB so that isn't really an option for you. But if you really do want to turn your non-RGB memory into RGB memory for not really too much then here is an option that you can go for. Now as you guys can see just behind me or next to me I have uh, the Obsidian 500D from Corsair. Really beautiful case, dual timber glass and all of that. For RGB fans at the top also from Corsair I've got uh, my gigabyte 1060 inside and then also as you guys can see I have my RGB memory. But now what you might not know is that this is a Core 2 Duo system so running on the LGA 775 socket so so quite a bit older uh, but it does have RGB memory which is also DDR2 memory. So and yeah before that time there was there wasn't any LEDs or RGB DDR2 memory so we turned our boring DDR2 memory into RGB DDR2 memory, if that makes any sense. Now the way I was able to do this is by getting myself the up here DIY RGB memory heat spreader. Uh, these are a two pack and it's going for $15 on Amazon. So not too pricey, you don't have to spend too much to completely turn your non-RGB memory into RGB. Uh, but these ones only have 256 different colors and will switch between those automatically. There is also other options that you can go for which does cost a bit more which I will talk to you guys about a bit later. But now uh, installing these ones it's pretty simple all you have to do is unscrew the sides, stick on the thermal pads, screw the sides back on and then finally just connect the 3 up pin header to your motherboard or any other 3 pin header to power it and and yeah, that's pretty much it. Now as for thermals, they do help dissipate heat from the memory a bit more. As I didn't really test it, so I can't say how much really. It's probably not going to be that much. Uh, if you do have cooling side case, you don't really have to worry about anything. Uh, memory that's running on that low frequency that we'd actually use these on, you don't have to worry. The thermals is going to be fine. Now then as for the lighting, again these ones do have 256 different colors. So it's not entirely full RGB with the 16.8 million, but it's, it's still good enough. Uh, also as for the effects, again they only have a single effect where it kind of looks like a rainbow almost as you guys can see. Uh, not entirely, but it's still kind of close. So unfortunately you can't select a single color for each uh, memory module, so it's just fix at that but you will see when powering it up you uh, that it kind of selects a single color and then kind of changes or cycles through a bunch of colors and then finally it gets into this. So that's kind of the limitation of these that you can't really have any control over them. Uh, also they're not the, the brightest RGB LEDs out there uh, when comparing it to something like the Corsair Vengeance Pro or just Vengeance RGB memory they are a lot brighter. But again for the price point it's it's honestly not too bad because you do get two of them. But now if you want to go for something that's better than these that you do have more control over and you're willing to spend a bit more then you can go for the easy DIY fab addressable RGB memory heat spreaders. Uh, honestly I didn't want to spend that much more or three times as much and because I 
I'm not really gonna use these that much, so I don't wanna spend that much. Uh, but if you want to use them and pump out your setup, then you can go for them uh, because they are addressable. They will work on your RGB Twitter, on your motherboard, and you can control them through MSI's Mystic software, Asus Aura, or Gigabyte Fusion. So you have a lot more control over it. You can select a single color, multiple effects, and all of that. And then also it'll sync with some of your other Myst, uh, Amazon Mystic, Asus Aura, or Gigabyte Fusion products to get a cooler in sync lighting effect. So that's pretty much it for my quick look at this non RGB to RGB memory uh, adapter module things. So if you guys want to get these for yourself, I will leave links in the video description where you can get these ones and then also a bunch of other ones will also include that easy DIY addressable ones. Uh, so if you want to get something that'll turn your boring non-RGB system into RGB without spending too much, then these ones is a really a good option. Uh, but I will say that if you wanted to recently go for a new system or if you do have the money i would say just get normal rgb memory they're not that much more uh, than the non-rgb equivalents with ddr4 but that's also if you do have a new system if you have an older system then these ones will be a lot a lot cheaper option that you can go for but again that's pretty much it thanks for watching guys if uh if you like this video please like share subscribe and comment like always and i will check all of you guys next time Cheers guys.